So I want to talk a bit about the benefits of juicing. And I'm sure a lot of people know how juicing is considered such a like a healthy thing, green juices, and a lot of celebrities are adopting juicing and buying green juices. And even you can see on my presentation, some rappers are making being healthy and juicing something cool nowadays. So I think it's really been taken off these past few years. And there's also a thing called juice cleansing where you drink nothing but juice for a certain period of time. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I've done several myself, including um, a very long one. I'll talk about that in the next slide. But there's basically two ways to juice cleanse. One is juice fasting and one is juice feasting. Um, I'm more about juice feasting because it's a way where you can really nourish yourself and drink as much juice as you want, as much variety as you want without any restrictions or limits. Whereas fasting is more like you you need to give your body rest because you might not get all those calories that you need and all the um, the volume of juices that will get you energized to go through your day. So juice fasting is like a thing you could do when you have time to rest and take it easy and let your body heal. Whereas juice feasting is like is a thing to do when you want to go about your daily life and go to work and things like that. So I'll read a little sentence about juice cleansing from zenfoods.com. Uh, the juice cleanse diet is a detox. It helps rid your body of toxins. Juice cleanses reduce inflammation and help strengthen your immune system. Doing a cleanse is basically like hitting the reset button on your body. So yeah, it's basically a chance to give your body a little reset, take a break from eating foods. Um, especially like as Elizabeth mentioned, there's food addiction stuff that a lot of people deal with. And I feel like juice cleansing is a way to not have to think about foods and certain foods like what you want to eat and what you don't want to eat what's healthy and unhealthy where everything you drink on a juice cleanse is healthy because you're drinking just freshly pressed um, fruits and vegetables basically so i myself have done a 91 day juice feast and that has that has basically helped me reconnect to nature and kind of uh, reset my taste buds and um, also to get into the daily juicing habits. So after my juice cleanse, I actually got more into juicing. I, I even invested in a better juicer, which I'll talk about juicers later as well. And I got more into like vegetable juices as opposed to fruit juices because at first I couldn't really handle it. But I didn't just jump into it. It took me, I was doing a high raw vegan diet for a couple of years before starting that juice feast. And in terms of binging, there is actually a lot of talk about that in terms of juice feasting because some people will do like a cleanse and restrict themselves and then binge after. So that's why I do not recommend jumping into a juice cleanse and s setting a certain timeline because I did not plan to go 91 days. I just took it one day at a time and it just naturally turned out to be a three month juice feast. And I know I've done times where I've, I've told myself, okay, I'm going to do 21 days or 14 days and then I would fall off or it wouldn't be as exciting or fun. And then there's been times where I've done like a 30 day juice cleanse without planning it. I just one day was separated from my juicer for a month. And then the first juice I made, I just, all I wanted to do is drink juice. So I de definitely recommend just doing it like one day or two days or three days or something like that short. And then if you feel like going, you can go based on what your body naturally wants and so instead of forcing yourself, because that's when you can crash or have bad experiences. So. But uh, the daily juicing habit beyond juice cleansing is just a great thing to incorporate in your life so you can get especially greens and tougher things like carrots and vegetables and kale and all these things that are more tough to digest and require a lot of chewing. And sometimes we don't want to eat like huge volumes of those things in our salads. Juicing them is a great way to get the nutrients from them and have them easily absorbable and digestible by your body without needing to process all that fiber. So it's a great way to get in, like green juices are amazing on the daily to get in those extra nutrition. So to start juicing, if, you've, if you're not into it and you wanna know how to do it, first of all, you have to commit to your health and the process of making it a habit because it's not, if it's something new, it's not gonna be something natural for you. And then you wanna find a juicer that you'll use. So there's different types of juicers and you want to use the one that if, if it's for you means something that's fast and easy, but maybe not as efficient, but you'll use it 
that's better than trying to get the best juicer, but you never use it because it's too complicated for you. And also just to make simple juices. So juicing like just one watermelon or just juicing like carrots and apples or just juicing something like, or orange juice, something that's very simple that you can adopt daily. And then on the weekends, you can be more creative and experiment when you have more time making like complex green juices and recipes from people and things like this. And yeah, basically also to prepare properly and plan. So if you want to juice, if you want to bring a juice to work, it's better to make it the night before. If you know in the morning, you might skip that process because it takes time to prepare. So basically the two main types of juices are a slow masticating juicer and then a centrifugal juicer. So the slow masticating juicer it has an auger system that breaks down the produce and really extracts the pulp, the juice from the pulp really efficiently. Whereas a centrifugal juicer is like, is has a blade that spins and it cuts the produce and it's not as efficient, but it's much faster. So I personally have the Green Star Elite, which you can see the slow masticating juicer here at home in Canada. And I love it. It takes more time, but it's just way more effective. Whereas here in Spain, I'm here temporarily. So I use the centrifugal one because like I said, I'm doing it. I set myself up to win. So I know I just bought a cheap juicer that's temporary and I still use it. But when I'm back home, I can't wait to reunite with my green star. And there's also other methods like a citrus press. I use that regularly as well to get orange juice, orange juice and grapefruit juice, especially here in Spain, the oranges are amazing. So it's pure like liquid sunshine. And you can also use a blender if you don't have a juicer and then strain the juice or use a nut milk bag to squeeze out the juice. So there's always ways to do juicing even if you don't have a juicer. And I feel my time is about up, but it's, I'm almost done here. I just want to mention celery juice. There's a craze, I don't know if y'all have heard about it, but medical medium, his name is Anthony Williams, but he's known as medical Me medium has kind of popularized celery juice and a lot of celebra celebrities and people got onto it. And later you can refer to the presentation for the benefits, but it's a simple, a very simple juice that you can make daily. It just putting in the stalks through the juicer, it takes very little time. And it's just a, such a satiating drink that really helps rebuild the hydrochloric acid in your stomach, helps you get the salts that you need. So you don't have as much cravings for junk food like chips and things like this. And um, yeah, I also have a sample juice cleanse menu that I put in the presentation. I'll leave that in the group for later and you guys can refer to it if you're interested in like if you were to do a juice cleanse, how you can set up a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner and snacks and things like that. And I also have a sample juice of my favorite juice, which is the carrot tropical punch. And that's it. That was surely five minutes at least. So thank you so much. <laughs>